Hello, this is Katie from Vintage and Vinyls. I'll be spinning some rockin' 50s records every week here on my channel, as well as showing you some cool Coca-Cola collectibles and other neat vintage finds. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyls coming at you with another great video. I'm excited today to share with you some of my collections. I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this and I think that it's really cool. We get to kind of see what their vintage passions are and uh, I love that. Hopefully when we get back out there to the flea markets, thrift stores and uh, auctions, we'll be able to kind of look for some of these items out in the wild ourselves and that will be a whole lot of fun. So today I'm going to share with you my vintage 10 collection. Now I do have quite a few 10s so I'm going to break it up in a little series along with other vintage collections but today I'm just going to share with you my typewriter 10s and I love graphics on 10s. I just think that they're amazing and these typewriter 10s are just perfect for the graphics. They are just amazing. So let's just jump right into um, the first 10 here is Everbest. It is RC Company established in 1893 and it has an atomic starburst on it. <laughs> really cool 10 and the back has a lot of information. It says Underwood half inch Everbest typewriter ribbon. These ribbons are available in seven degrees of inking, extra light, 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 medium, 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 heavy, heavy, and extra heavy. And then it says for best results, we recommend using light or light medium for elite type. Manufactured by Consolidated Ribbon and Carbon Company, Chicago, Illinois, USA, red and black record. So that's quite a lot of information and a lot of product that this company produced. Now this 10 does not have the ribbon inside. I don't know if that adds value to these tins or not. Uh, if they have the ribbon or they don't have the ribbon, I'm assuming that it does, but I just love the graphics. So to me, it makes no difference if the ribbon is in there or if the tin is in a little bit of a rougher shape. Like I've said before, Vintage isn't perfect, and I love when you can really see the character and the history on something. And, you know, they don't make things like they used to, and back in the day, I would assume that people would reuse these tins for all kinds of things around their home because they were in such good shape and they were really well made, so they could do that and they didn't have to throw them away. Uh, nowadays, we just get something and toss it when we're done, but... The packaging was really made to last and that's cool. So I'm sure that these tins survived and, and had many uses and had a little bit of a rougher life and I love that history. So that's a great idea too. I mean, I've thought about actually putting vintage uh, things in them, um, not vintage things, but like on a vintage desk, this would be really cool. You could put paper clips, staples, rubber bands, whatever you wanted. I think that would be really amazing. The next tin here is uh, also has Starburst and it's improved Climax ribbon, purple copying for use on Smith Premium VIS typewriter. And that's the front. And then the side has all these vintage Starburst going around the outside, which is really cool. And then the back has M and V, and then the sticker is still on there from the uh, architectural salvage yard where I got this. Now, I did not pay $10 for it. I only paid a dollar. Uh, that was just their little marking system. Um, but I think that you can get these tens anywhere from a dollar to maybe $3. I've never seen them for more. Now, I'm sure if there's one that's a lot older, or in better shape, it might cost a little bit more, but I think that's a pretty reasonable price to pay for these amazing little tins here. The next tin has a lot of information on it, and um, I think that the graphics are just so incredible. It is Columbia brand, clean, good, non-filling, non-grease, established in 1903, Typewriter Ribbon, Columbia Carbon Company, Dayton, Ohio, Los Angeles, 
CDX Black Red Records Royal Number no. Ten. Goodness gracious! But here's the ten. I love the the ribbons going around the outside. I think that's really whimsical and fun. And then on the side, it has all this beautiful filigree. Now the back, I can't quite make out what it says. It does have some issues on the back. Uh, maybe with a magnifying glass, I can read some of that type. But isn't this a cool tin? It's square, which is unlike all the other typewriter tins I have because they're all round. And then the inside doesn't have the ribbon, but you know, that's okay. Still a really cool tin. This pen, I love the graphics on it and the type because it reminds me of the early 90s uh, on the Microsoft computers when you had Notepad. And it reminds me of that type font that was available for you in Notepad. But this is Type Bar Smith Corona Typewriter Ribbon. And you can see I'm actually using this to store some screws that I had from another project and I don't have the heart to throw them away. So they're in this tin, and maybe one day I'll find a use for them. This on the back says M293 Royal Tin LC Smith Corona Typewriters Inc. Offices Syracuse, New York, Made in USA, Black Record, Medium Inked. Very cool tin. This tin has the ribbon in it. So it's the only one I have that actually has the ribbon and the ribbon's in pretty rough shape. So I'm wondering actually if I could do a little experiment while I'm in quarantine and try to re-ink the ribbon or get it working again. I don't know if that's possible, but it might be fun to try. You know, markers, if you leave them in water, for a while, they'll kind of re-ink themselves and they'll be just good as new within a few days. So maybe we can do something with the ink. If I find out that it does work, I'll come back with another video for you on that. <laughs> this is Hallmark Typewriter Ribbon, Cameron Manufacturing Company, Inc., Texas. And this, this up here, this filigree inside this beautiful um, letter here reminds me a lot of those storybook that you would get as a kid that had all the fairy tales in them with the gold binding. And each uh, story would start off with a beautiful um, letter. And there's a name for these types of lettering. Uh, calligraphy is what I was trying to think of. But isn't that beautiful? And then the back says nylon electromatic 916 black red record medium ink. And here's the ribbon. You could really hurt someone with these spiky things on the outside. Man, that really hurts my fingers. Ooh. And the ribbon's not in the best of shape, like I said, but I might try and experiment on it because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right, there's my dog in the background. She's wanting to uh, attack the sprinklers that have just started to go off outside. <laughs> this next tin is Tybin's Excelsior Typewriter Ribbon, and it says that its machine is made for Excelsior All, and it has this beautiful gold, black, and kind of teal color with these awesome stripes going around the outside of the tin. And the back also has a lot of information. <laughs> It says, Tybin Ribbons Carbons and Inks are made and manufactured to the highest ideals of quality and uniformity. Every product fully and unconditionally guaranteed for best results use Tybin Carbons with Tybin Ribbons. Manufactured by the Tybin Corporation, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Very cool. Does not have the ribbon, but a neat 10. The last two tins I have to share with you are really special to me, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This one is just my favorite because of the graphics, and this is Carter's Midnight Typewriter Ribbon. I love the midnight blue color with the space motif, and you can see Saturn there. Really, really cool. And uh, this tin says the Carter's Ink Company, Boston, made in the USA for use on Royal Portable Black Red Record Medium Typewriters. And this tin doesn't open. I think it's kind of been repurposed and it got kind of jammed shut. 
but I just love the graphics on this. I know I've said that a million times, but how can you not? They're so cool. The last 10 is special to me because of the address. And I'll share with you why in just a minute. But this is the Chorus Typewriter Ribbon. And on the back, it says, this typewriter ribbon is fully guaranteed to be long lasting and not type filling. Corona Skywriter Black Red Medium Inked. Made in the USA by Chorus Carbon Paper and Ribbons Manufacturing Corporation, 4349 Bleecker Street, New York, USA. Now that address is special to me because I love New York City and Bleecker Street was one of my favorite places in the Chelsea area to visit. It had the best pizza I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's this little tiny building called John's and uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but they just have the best pizza. And they had all these amazing vintage shops, record stores, it was just so much fun. So Bleecker Street is, a great place to visit if you're in New York. So love this 10. Well, that is all I have to share with you guys today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay in, and binge YouTube.